You're working on a project and everything has to be perfect. Every detail, every word. But as you strive for perfection, anxiety creeps in. You start to doubt yourself, rechecking and redoing your work until you're caught in an endless cycle. Sound familiar? If you've ever felt trapped in the anxiety perfectionism loop, you're not alone. Today, we're going to explore how this loop works and more importantly, how you can break free from it. 1. Understanding the Anxiety Perfectionism Loop Let's start by breaking down what the Anxiety Perfectionism Loop actually is. Perfectionism, at its core, is the desire to avoid mistakes and achieve flawlessness. It's fueled by a fear of failure, criticism, or not meeting expectations, whether those are your own or someone else's. Here's how the loop works. 1. The Perfectionist Mindset You set extremely high standards for yourself, believing that anything less than perfect is unacceptable. This mindset can be motivating, but it's also a double-edged sword. 2. Anxiety kicks in. As you strive for perfection, anxiety begins to take hold. You worry about making mistakes, disappointing others, or not being good enough. This anxiety pushes you to work even harder, but it also makes you more likely to second-guess yourself. 3. Procrastination or overworking. The anxiety leads to either procrastination, because you're afraid of not getting it right, or overworking, where you spend excessive time on small details. Either way, the pressure builds. 4. The cycle repeats, when you inevitably fall short of perfection, because no one can achieve it, the anxiety increases. You might beat yourself up, set even higher standards, and the loop starts all over again. This cycle is exhausting and unproductive, and it can take a toll on your mental health. But here's the thing, breaking free from this loop is entirely possible. Two, the root causes of perfectionism and anxiety. To break the cycle, it's important to understand where these feelings of perfectionism and anxiety come from. Often, they're rooted in deeper psychological factors, such as one, fear of failure, Many perfectionists are driven by a deep fear of failure. They believe that mistakes will lead to negative consequences, like losing respect, opportunities, or even relationships. Two, desire for control. Perfectionism can also stem from a desire to control outcomes. When you're anxious, controlling every detail might feel like the only way to ensure things go well. Three, low self-esteem. If you struggle with low self-esteem, you might use perfectionism as a way to prove your worth. The belief is that if you're perfect, you'll be valued and accepted. 4. External pressures. Sometimes perfectionism is influenced by external pressures, like societal expectations, family demands, or workplace culture. These pressures can make you feel like you have no choice but to be perfect. Understanding these root causes is crucial because it helps you see that perfectionism isn't just a habit. It's a coping mechanism for deeper fears and insecurities. Once you recognize this, you can start to address those underlying issues. Three, the cost of perfectionism on mental health. While perfectionism might seem like a positive trait, after all, who doesn't want to do their best? The reality is that it comes with significant costs, especially when it's tied to anxiety. One, Chronic stress. Constantly striving for perfection keeps your stress levels high. Over time, chronic stress can lead to burnout, physical health issues, and even mental health conditions like depression. Two, procrastination and paralysis. The fear of not being perfect can lead to procrastination or paralysis. You might avoid starting tasks altogether because you're afraid you won't do them perfectly, which only fuels more anxiety. Three, Reduce productivity. Ironically, perfectionism can reduce your productivity. When you're stuck in the details, you lose sight of the bigger picture and spend more time than necessary on tasks that don't really matter. Four, negative self-talk. Perfectionism often comes with harsh self-criticism. When you don't meet your impossibly high standards, you might beat yourself up, leading to a negative cycle of self-doubt and low self-esteem. These costs, highlight the importance of addressing perfectionism, not just for your productivity, but for your overall well-being. 
The good news is that there are strategies you can use to start breaking free from this damaging cycle. 4. Strategies to Break the Anxiety Perfectionism Loop Now that we've covered the impact of the anxiety perfectionism loop, let's get into the strategies that can help you break free from it. 1. Set Realistic Goals One of the first steps is to start setting more realistic goals. Instead of aiming for perfection, aim for progress. Ask yourself, what's good enough? And set your standards accordingly. Remember, done is better than perfect, too. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself when you make mistakes. Instead of beating yourself up, practice self-compassion. Remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes and that they're a natural part of the learning process. 3. Challenge your thoughts. When perfectionist thoughts arise, challenge them. Ask yourself, is this true? Am I really a failure if this isn't perfect? Often, you'll find that these thoughts are exaggerated and not based in reality. 4. Set time limits. To avoid getting stuck in the details, set time limits for tasks. For example, give yourself 30 minutes to write an email and stick to that limit. This helps you stay focused on what's important and prevents overworking. 5. Focus on the bigger picture. Remind yourself of the bigger picture. What's the ultimate goal of your task? How does it fit into the larger context of your life or work? Keeping the bigger picture in mind can help you avoid getting bogged down in unnecessary details. 6. Learn to delegate. If you're in a position to do so, delegate tasks that don't require your personal touch. Trusting others to help can reduce your workload and give you more time to focus on what truly matters. 7. Seek support. Breaking free from perfectionism can be challenging, especially if it's deeply ingrained. Consider seeking support from a therapist or counselor who can help you work through these patterns and develop healthier coping mechanisms. These strategies are designed to help you shift your mindset, reduce your anxiety, and embrace a more balanced approach to your work and life. 5. Embracing imperfection and celebrating progress. One of the most powerful ways to break the anxiety perfectionism loop is to start embracing imperfection and celebrating progress no matter how small. 1. Shift your perspective. Instead of seeing mistakes as failures, start seeing them as opportunities to learn and grow. Every mistake you make is a step forward in your personal and professional development. 2. Celebrate small wins. Take time to celebrate your progress, even if it's not perfect. Did you finish a project? Did you take a step towards a goal? Celebrate it. Recognizing your achievements helps build confidence and reduces the need for perfection. 3. Practice gratitude. Gratitude is a great way to shift your focus from what's not perfect to what's going well. Take a few minutes each day to reflect on what you're grateful for, whether it's progress on a project or support from a friend. 4. Adopt a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed with effort and time. Embracing this mindset helps you see challenges as opportunities rather than threats, and it reduces the need to be perfect right away. By embracing imperfection and celebrating your progress, you create a more positive, fulfilling approach to life that's less about anxiety and more about growth and happiness. Perfectionism and anxiety don't have to control your life. By understanding the loop, addressing the root causes and implementing practical strategies, you can break free and create a more fulfilling, balanced life. Remember, progress is better than perfection, and you're allowed to celebrate every step you take. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who might be struggling with the same challenges. Let's embrace imperfection together and find peace in the process. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.